Hello to the both of you. How are you today? And uh, how's it going so far? Good, good. How are you? I'm great. Um, I really thoroughly enjoyed part two here. I, you know, I got to say, not that I don't love a good action film, love the action, but for me, the dramatic moments were so wonderful. Sophia, I want to start with you because what was it like to be able to kind of soften uh, Cora a little, learn a lot more about her backstory and what she's been through. You really, you really feel for this woman, I gotta tell you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for me, like, I mean, she didn't have the choice but to operate from her masculine side because she came from such a tough upbringing with people who cruelly wronged her and gave her the, the wrong education and mindset. She truly thought uh, growing up that she was doing the right thing that she was fighting for the you know for the for the right cause and I think um, finding uh, being able first of all to explore in, in in the length of time that we got to shoot um, all these nuances because I got to shoot to them um, yeah. was was a lot of fun but ultimately to find those pockets and windows of of hope and windows of happiness was the most rewarding for me because ultimately knowing coming from such a a tough past and a not fun one it it was just uh, that all i wanted for her is to yeah find all those the great joy and and the peace that she could that she can have and um yeah and with gunnar also well okay so mikhail i want to say you know gunnar he, he steps it up from what we've seen in in part one yeah. i mean he he comes to the table was that fun for you that was, that was so much fun for me and uh, the fact that we knew that ahead of time, right? Because we shot basically part one and two uh, back to back, as if, it's, if, as if it was one long movie, really. So we got to yeah. really play with that arc and that transformation. And, um, you know, we, I, I knew that we can, we can let Gunnar be uh, a, bit, a bit naive and humble in the beginning because he has somewhere to go. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to ask you both, Sophia, I'll start with you, because when you have somebody like Zack Zach Snyder, you're bringing his vision to fruition. It's amazing what goes on in that guy's head. Mm -hmm. But he's not only the director, he's the DOP, he's everything. Like, he's got a lot on the line. How does that help you as an actor to know, like, he's right there behind the camera, really controlling it all? Mm -hmm. How does that help you? It helps me for the simple fact that if he's able to do all of that, I better give him my thousand percent because he, I mean, it, it just, I think it's just, it's just so uplifting. It's, it's inspiring yeah. and it makes you want to do better, be better. And, and for me, it's just, it's just, I don't know, it's inspiring. It's, it really is. And, and it's motivating and yeah, I, I, just that itself. And also to be able to, I mean, for me, I was just fascinated by the fact that he had this whole entire movie in his mind. And then you come yes. to set and you see this bigger than life movie set. And um, I don't know, it's just all so magical and fun. And I'm just, yeah, infinitely grateful to have been a part of this. Yeah, and Mika, what about you? Because it's not like you haven't been on these big giant sets before. So to have somebody like Zack Snyder, you know, amazing. Yeah, no, he was really a force on set. And it, our shoot was long. It took us about eight, nine months to shoot both part one and two. And so for him to be able to keep his energy up for that extended period of time is really awesome. And, and I think uh, meant that all of us wanted to uh, do well. Yeah, just to wrap it up, Sophie, I want to address the banner scene. It was one of my favorite scenes in the whole Which movie, scene? Sorry. Honestly. The banner scene when everybody was being presented their banners oh, by yes. Sam. Oh, yes. Yes. And oh my God, like I, I, I needed a box of Kleenex for that scene, honestly. How, how <laughs> was it shooting that? And how much did you relate to what Sam was saying when she was presenting the banner to Cora? Like, how, how um. much did you relate to that? I don't know, maybe... Tell her about the wolf. Well, yeah, the wolf. Not, I mean, I relate nice. in that. I mean, I when I found out, when I discovered that Zach had the in mind for the wolf to be Cora's animal, I... Because I she didn't know that. No, 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 no. But I, I, it's my favorite animal, one of my favorite animal, and, uh, wow. and, and, and in a way it fit perfectly with Cora, because when you meet her, she's on the veld and she's very shy. Right, but she does have, she knows who, who she belongs to right now, even though she doesn't mix very well. But like, 
Uh, wolves are very shy, but they're very loyal and they're very protective and they're very united and they're family driven and and these all these characters they fit Cora's circumstance. I mean Cora's um, uh, Cora's core very very well and so yeah and I think that I relate in a way that I don't know I feel like I've, yeah I relate in, in yeah I can I feel very close to wolves so. Yeah, and I love that That's scene amazing. too. Also, by the way, I thought it was such a fun scene to shoot. First of all, and um, and yeah, it's a it's a very emotional and uh, it's a nice moment in the movie. I mm -hmm. think in in the middle of all the war and all the all the explosion, it's a very it's a nice moment. Absolutely. Well, you guys are fantastic in this. Congratulations on it, and thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye.